my first day. It was great. Yes, it's over. It's done with. It was tiring. There was nothing to do. It's the weirdest thing. So my first day, um, as you hopefully have seen so far, is that it was fairly productive in the sense that I was able to introduce myself to the staff and myself to the students. Uh, I was able to take part in a very, very basic tutoring. Um, that went well, I think, you know, giving good, you know, enthusiasm to the student. But, you know, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens where it goes. Uh, yeah, no, it's just been great. Today was a fun day. It's over. It's about time to go to sleep. And I'm looking forward to that. Um, and after shower, of course. God, it's nasty outside. It is nasty inside. It's nasty everywhere. Jeff, I haven't said this before. Japanese apartments suck at keeping heat out or cold in or vice versa. It sucks so much. So much heat. It's so hot. It's so sweaty. It's so disgusting. So much humidity. Everywhere, it's disgusting. It's blah, blah, blah. anyway. That's beside the point. It's a whole nother video. But what I am going to be excited about right now is that I want to show you guys. I don't know if I'll actually eat it because you know, I don't know if I'm going to be that kind of person. Um, today was the first day back for all the teachers, so of course, in I guess you would say regular Japanese style, all the teachers who went abroad or went to another place in Japan or they went on a trip or something of that nature, they brought back omiyage. Now omiyage is basically the courtesy gift, courtesy treats, whatever you want to call it, that people bring back from trips. And that's the way it is. It's very simple. Like it comes in a big old box and there's like 20, 30 of them a piece, whatever it is, depending on the box. And you know, you pass them out to people you know, back in your workplace saying, oh, you know, this is where I went, you know, wish you could have been there kind of thing. Um, even though you don't wish any of them were there and you're glad that no one else came. <laughs> so, Omiyage is just a gift, and I didn't, you know, I mean, I have stuff, but unfortunately, here's the unfortunate bit, and you know who I'm talking to because of the time we spent looking for this stuff, it turns out that there was no point, I was told that there was no point in buying the gifts or bringing the gifts that I brought, specifically for my school, very specifically, for my teachers. I was so pissed, so pissed. <laughs> I mean, of course, it turns out I didn't buy, we didn't buy enough of the little, little thing, little, little gifts that we, I was going to give out. It just, it just turns out it was pointless, absolutely pointless. But that's just another thing for another time. You live, you learn, it's a lesson of life. Um, but anyway, these are the omiyage, the gifts that they were given to me, even though I have just started there. I mean, they did, it's all, you know, courtesy, so everyone got one. Um... This, if I can remember correctly, they said this one came from Hokkaido. I'm not certain. It's some type of little cookie thing. I don't know. It's got some actor on there. I don't know. That's one of them. This one's kind of funny. Koi Bito. Long, long de chat. Long de chat. I don't know. I, I, I can't, I can't, I don't know, I don't know what that says. Lang de chat. Mm. It's French, so could be talking about poop and meringue, I don't know. <laughs> but koibito is my love for you, or my love. Got two of those. This one I found the most interesting. Now, unfortunately, the, the damn thing in... in transit from the school to my apartment it broke up which means it's like a little rice cake or a cookie or something it says niku manga furete and looking at it i think it's some type of like or sorry not to mikan ga furete mikan mikan is orange or uh, clementine or something of that nature ga furete grapefruit maybe i don't know so it's some type of like large cracker cookie thing. I don't know. So there's that. And then this one just seems fairly obvious. Corn chocolate. You know, sometimes the mystery's just gone. <laughs> kind of like a lifeless marriage. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> what? 
Oh. Uh, <laughs> and this one is apparently very special. Didn't know this. This one I will show you. It's a type of, um, like, like, um, mochi ball cake thing. I don't know. It looks like, oh, what are those? It, it looks like a shortcake is what it looks like. Now, it's supposed to be eaten cold, so unfortunately I haven't frozen it yet or chilled it at all, so I will be putting that in the fridge momentarily. But yeah, it, it looks like a shortcake, just without any strawberries or blackberries or blueberries or whatever attached to it. It feels really heavy, though, like something's inside of it, but I can't tell. I don't, I can't read what's on the box. But hey, that happens when you're an American who doesn't know kanji. Hey! <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's what I got today. That was really cool, really fun. Um, as you'll see in the previous segments or the aforementioned segments that I'll be attaching to this video, it's going to be fairly long, I think. Probably around a good, you know, 10, 15 minutes of a video, so it'll be one of my first ones like that. Um, today was just a good day. It was a fun start. It was a weird middle, and it was just a very strong end that just, <laughs> you just see some strange things. But it was good. It was a good day. Um, I learned a good lot. A good lot. Wow. And I'm an English teacher. I learned a lot from the teachers that were there. Um, and it was just it was just one day. Just one day. And I've already learned so much. I feel as if I've learned a whole lot more. But then again, they all spoke in Japanese for the most part. And I didn't understand what was going on. So, you know, could have been a whole lot I was missing out on. <laughs> but that happens. So, um... Yeah, continue to look for continual updates, daily updates, weekly updates, you know, um, bi daily updates, whatever I have time for, whatever I'm up for. Um, just kind of like those little stomp rounds and roar sessions, that's all they are. And it's just, that's what this is about having fun and showing you that I'm having fun, showing you that there's a lot of weird stuff that comes out of the Japanese people and the Japanese culture. Well, that first statement sounded really strange. A lot of weird stuff comes out of Japanese people. Um. Uh, mm. <laughs> but anyway, take care, guys. Like, favorite, subscribe. Do all the socials. Please share this video. Share any pictures. Share everything you can. Because the more people that hear about the fun times I'm having in Japan, maybe they'll come to Japan, too. Maybe they'll be able to broaden their horizons. So if there's any little thing that I've said or done that has you know, brought a smile to your face or a chuckle to your heart, then my purpose has been served. So, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I bid you adieu. Have a good day.